Hey, what's up? Tony from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. Thank you for watching this quick video about automotive pearls. All right, so in back of me here, we have uh, a bunch of bottles of pearls and flake for automotive painting and customization stuff. We also have a, a little can of uh, candy lime here, gold candy. All right, so we're going to briefly talk about this so you can get a clear idea about how to use pearls in your project and if you want to use pearls or if you want to use flakes. So let's just quickly get into it, tell you a little bit about this stuff. All right, so here we go. First of all, we're looking at some powder pearls here. All right, um, this is a micro sequence flake. Let's take a look at it. Micro sequence means very, very fine. All right, you can see it's like powder. And it's dangerous stuff because you don't want to go breathing it. You're going to go breathing a bunch of metal in your nose. So just be careful. Um, micro sequence flake here and then we have our, our regular flake this is popular back in the late 70s early 80s I guess with the low riders and all that it's still pretty popular with the low riders this is the stuff we could mix in our clear coat okay now a lot of this stuff you want to use when painting base coat clear coat because pearls are actually mixed in in your clear coat all right this is where you get your custom effect when you go over say a white car and then you have your you put your white base coat on and then you do a clear coat with some pearls mixed in here let me show you some some red pearl this is actually it looks white but it's red all right when you mix it up in the clear coat maybe on my hand if you look on my hand you'll see like it's like a little pinkish i don't know if the camera is picking that up but uh that's what it looks like okay so this stuff looks nice over white and if you go over like black base it's gonna look a little purplish like that. This is kind of old. I actually bought this can of pearl when I was probably 14 years old. This is one of the first pearls I ever bought, and I used it so many times. You could see I still have some left. All right, you're only gonna use about maybe one tablespoon for a whole gallon of clear. It depends on how much effect you want. You know what I mean? But this stuff lasts for a long, long time. Um, then they also have something called liquid pearl, all right? It's also by House of Color, okay? It's just, it's the same exact thing, but it's liquid, all right? I don't really know the pros and cons about it, but I know sometimes in liquids you can get colors that you can't get with dry pearl. But dry pearl lasts a lot longer because it's not mixed in with anything. Well, I can't open this. It's been sealed shut for a long time. But this is like a violet pearl here, okay? Um... And then we can get into just show you a little bit of what uh, gold pearl looks like. Pretty cool stuff, all right? You could put this over like a, a black base coat or a silver, and, and uh, you'll have a pearly effect on your paint job. Very, very neat stuff. Um, I would say it's about maybe 30 to 40 bucks per bottle now, and you could probably paint 20 cars with this, you know? So, and uh, with every undercoat right undercoat by meaning base coat so if you have a white base coat a silver base coat a red base coat or a black base coat and you put this gold pearl over it you're going to have a different effect across each paint panel so sometimes it's good to actually do a test panel to see if you're going to like it on your car or not you know you don't want to just start mixing it up and doing it but you know you can get a basic idea once you start doing it of how much pearl to put and what type of effect you want I've used all these pearls across silver paints white paints blue paints you know blue paint with like a a purple haze pearl looks pretty cool you know it turns out to like a purplish tint color it looks really cool so you could basically do all kinds of stuff with pearls when you're doing base coat clear coat paint jobs all right and we teach you all of this in step-by-step -step detail at LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. I have uh, videos going step-by-step -step complete paint jobs, doing custom jobs with pearls and candies. We also teach you how to spray with candies on your project so you know exactly how to do it, what to do it, and with all the mixtures. All right, so I hope you learned a little bit on this video. And also, one, one last thing, when spraying with this big flake here, you want to make sure you take the filter out of the neck of your spray gun. Okay, most new spray guns now, you have a filter in here. I don't have it in here, but there's a filter that goes in here, and this stuff is going to clog it up. You're going to spray for like 10 seconds, and it's going to clog all up, 
you're going to wonder why no material is coming out of your spray gun. Okay? When using micro sequence flake, the small flake that I just showed you, you don't have to worry about it. It'll go right through the filter. All right, so just remember that if you're doing custom jobs, uh, low rider stuff, you're going to want to take out your filter, lay it on. It's going to lay on a little bumpy. This stuff is pretty thick. It might pop out of your clear coat and not give you a smooth finish. So you're going to have to let that dry, sand it down, and then just re-clear coat over it. Most of the time, that's what you have to do when using this type of big jumbo flake. All right, so just a quick tip. Learn more at learnautobodyandpaint.com. You can also go there and get a free 85-page ebook about auto body and paint. All right, it's full of content, full of information. I'm sure you'll like it. Just go to learnautobodyandpaint.com and go ahead and get it. So thanks for watching this short video. Um, share it if you're on YouTube or if you're on the blog right now. Comment below any questions you have. And uh, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Bye-bye.